In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my thought process as an Escape from Tarkov sniper. We'll be covering a couple of sniper raids I ran on stream. And yes, I do stream Escape from Tarkov live on Twitch Monday to Friday. If you guys want to check me out, twitch.tv slash ramen style. Sniping with a bolt action rifle is one of my favorite things to do in the game. It's a completely different playstyle from the usual that requires a lot of patience and proper positioning. We will be breaking down two raids in this video. The first one in Woods, the second in Interchange. And don't forget, if you guys want to catch more of these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video it helps the channel a lot when you hit that like button do you have a favorite sniper rifle in the game leave it in the comments below without further ado i hope you guys enjoy this breakdown so here we are in woods with a stock m700 with a suppressor rocking a voodoo as my scope and as my sidearm i have the sr1 mp or what some of us call the shrimp at this point of the raid i am fresh off of an outskirts spawn and walking across the map towards the sawmill area to try to get some nice snipes in and as we're strolling through the woods i spot an enemy to my left oh this guy right there in front of me right to left right there chat it's not gonna be a hundred meter shot but we're gonna try to go for this kill anyway this guy is holy running oh he knows he knows he knows he was looking while running at this exact moment, I've lost my target. Last scene, he was bunny hopping from left to right into this tree line. And from the quick glimpse I got off of his gear, it looked like he had some sort of M4 and what looks like some decent armor because I saw him wearing a helmet with a face shield. As a sniper, this is a very crucial moment. I have to make a move right now. So instead of holding this angle and waiting for him to come out of the tree line, I decided to move out of this position and do a big flank. The reason being, I already know he spotted me with how he reacted. And if I stay in the same spot, there are two possible scenarios. Number one, he pre-aims, peeks out, and counter snipes me or number two he w keys me and barrel stuffs me with what looks like an m4 loadout so i decide to play it cool reposition and do a big flank we got our we got our retreat shot he knows me we are standing here a few meters away from Dickhead Rock and I decided to do a big reposition to the east to safely get away from his line of sight and once I made it far enough I wrapped around to the north to get behind him. And while all this is happening I'm imagining that this guy is scoping me in from where he last saw me and since he wouldn't be able to find me in my last position he may either push to my last known position and W key to it or just move along and forget about me and extract the map. thought he had an M4 with a voodoo. I don't know. It was kind of just in my mind. I don't. I didn't see it clearly. I just assumed. I, I would imagine maybe he pushed in. If he didn't have a sniper, he might have pushed in. The question is, is he hunting down for me? Or is he hunting me down? Or or, or is he just going? I'm trying to just see a pixel oh, right there. Oh, baby, that was him, chat. That was exactly the guy. Shooter born in heaven, baby! <laughs> GG, dude! So all this worked miraculously as planned. Our opponent pushed our last known position and he seemed a little lost and confused, not knowing where we were. We got a free shot on him, landed a nice clean headshot, and not only that, but also we got a nice shooter born kill for Woods. Moving on to the next raid, here we are in Interchange. I am rocking an M700 suppressed again with the AICS stock and as my sidearm, the PL15 with AP 6.3s. At this point of the raid, we are approaching about 10 minutes in the raid and here we we are hovering around the Costin area, playing it cool and slow, looking for some first floor snipes. It's actually one of my favorite ways to snipe in Escape from Tarkov. I love interchange and hanging around the first floor. So I tend to hover wherever info brings me. And the only info I had in this raid was Kiba being open. Considering it's not super late into the raid yet, I had a gut feel that there was still a squad hanging around the Kiba area. So I tried to approach it from an awkward angle. Here we are under the escalator. Right now, I'm just playing for info. I'm trying to spot someone. Oh shit, Killa's still around. Spoiler alert, that wasn't Killa, it was a PMC with an RPK. PMC just got hit. Oh, he's in Brutal? Oh, he, someone's still inside. Corner. Oh! I missed, I missed that chat, Alton. I missed the Alton, I missed the Alton shot. I thought I had it, chat. I had that perfect opportunity for a headshot, but I just straight up whiffed. As a sniper, you take those whiffs, take those as an L. It does happen, but it's okay. The fight's not over. We got to get up, reset the fight, and get ourselves another opportunity. He has to loot him. Good grenade. Amazing. Oh, shit. 
I tried to play a little bold here and stay within the same area after whiffing the first shot. I wanted an immediate second chance at a second shot, but this impatience almost killed me. Remember in the raid previous that we covered in woods? At a split second, I knew I had to reposition. Here in interchange, I almost died to an on-point grenade and somehow survived RPK shots whizzing past my head. I was in a horrible spot because I got greedy and impatient and tried to re-peek from the same area. And that near-death experience from that grenade and those RPK shots whizzing past taught me a lesson to listen to my own advice. As a sniper, if you lose the opportunity of a perfect shot, take the L, reposition, reset the fight to give yourself a second opportunity. The X is where we initially missed our shot on the Alton guy under the escalators by Brutal. And after taking partial damage from a grenade and almost dying to an RPK, I finally decided to do what I should have done in the first place, which is reposition. So just like the previous raid, I do a big wraparound again. I'm gonna go through these Goshan tents and into the bathroom beside Bizarro, straight down into Costin, further down into Stars, to the front of the mall, a flank all the way to Sport, to get to the other side of the mall and end up at a totally different position without them knowing. The goal was to get to the tarpaulin area, which is situated on top of the ramp that leads into Kiba. Because my flank took so long, I assume these guys put their guard down and thought I just ran away. That's the beauty of these long flanks. I actually talked about this in a previous video called Tarkov Solo vs Squad PvP Tips, where I mentioned that long flanks are great in Tarkov because it offsets your timing and sometimes makes your opponents think that you actually just left. Oh, well, oh, we got a jumper. This guy. Let's throw a grenade here. Then we'll flank around here. There's one more, there's one more chat. We are back in this position, similar to our first engagement in this interchange raid. I have one more opponent and he knows where I am. I know I'm at a disadvantage as a sniper here. So as you guys saw, I threw a grenade to kind of mask my flank, make him think I'm still holding the angle, possibly have the grenade mask my footsteps as well. The other one seemed like an alt though, right? Oh, shit. I'm not sure if the player heard that scav engagement, so I slowed down here, crouch walking here to be a little more quiet to gauge the situation. I did. P and poo. It's a three man, I think, chat. I see one here. Fuck. Oh, this is player scav. No, Alton. Alton boy is dead. Or was it a double Alton? Whatever. GG. After this fight, we surveyed the area and can confirm that we got a duo PMC. They were both juiced from head to toe, and one of them was definitely the RPK guy who was shooting us from earlier. We came home thick with all the loot, survived this raid, got out. That was a GG, and yeah, that's how I love my sniper runs, guys. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you guys want to catch these live on my stream, twitch.tv slash ramen style, don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more and see you guys on the next one.